بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All praise due to Allah the most compassionate the most merciful and peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and upon his households and his companions and those who are taking his path towards achieving the great success in the hereafter Alhamdulillah in the light of Ramadan I am given this golden opportunity to share with all of you about how we are going to do about our Ramadan inshallah I'll be sharing you with you some tips and advice that we may be uh, wanting to implement for our current Ramadan so the concept that I would like to address today is about setting objectives for your intention every Ramadan we have certain intentions so for us to ensure that these intentions are met at the end of the day an objective is needed because this objective will help you to plan out how you want to go about to achieve this objective of yours for for example some of us perhaps might wanting to always lose some weight especially during ramadan because we are not eating and drinking obviously so how do we going about to achieve this great objective it's not wrong obviously number one number two when we do have set this kind of objective we need to really properly set our plans out because if we do not have the plan to achieve this objective then the objective will be futile means we will not be achieving this objective and therefore a plan is needed it's like going for a holiday for example you will need your itinerary you need to know what flight you will be taking you will need to know where you will stay what you want to eat where you want to eat and where you want to shop to make sure that your holiday is the best of those holidays that you have had similarly for this ramadan if you want to achieve your great objective you need your itinerary you need to plan out your itinerary very well so that you can enable yourself to achieve this success this victory at the end of ramadan so some people even might perhaps have wanting to always finish up completing the recitation and reading of al-quran al-karim khatam al-quran which is a good thing and even great things so for that thing to happen you need a plan to make sure that you follow and you strive towards attaining this success or this objective so perhaps you want to organize and manage your time you know, manage how long you will read each day for how many hours or how many chapters or how many verses in the quran so you can achieve your objective otherwise you will not be able to achieve your objective and that is the basic things and the fundamental things about setting an objective you will need a plan so for some maybe even wanting to seek for lalatul qadar because previously he might felt that oh no lalatul qadar didn't occur to me so i want to have this objective so in order to achieve this objective he or she needs to do something she or she needs to plan out something so for example by doing zikr by doing recitation of quran al karim waking up at night seeking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure seeking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy and seeking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness inshallah i believe that objective will be met and uh, we do not need to really follow what others are doing because at the end of the day our iman is our iman we know ourselves what is best for us and allah obviously knows what is best for us so i would like to advise all of us to set our objective make sure it is clear so we can plan it out throughout the ramadan and inshallah at the end of the day reach our goal and achieve the success that we want to have from this ramadan and therefore i hope that today's advice and some tips that i've shared to you will be somehow beneficial for you at the end of the day for your ramadan this year may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you in this month may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give his mercy upon you may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give his forgiveness 
to all of us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala facilitate your plan and ease your affairs for you to be able to achieve your great success at the end of the day. Shukran wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.